Ivy Myers, NTNM Extras, a production of Jamie Hirsch, daughter of Sonny Hirsch, the entire technical crew. Uh, check us out on the web, ntnm.org is our regular website. Uh, you can All the shows are on YouTube, over 100,000 shows watched. Thank you so much. Um, there's also a link on that site to Jewish Chicago, which is on the street and available free all over the Chicagoland area. And if for whatever reason you can't find one or there isn't one, in, if you're not in a Jewish neighborhood and want to check it out, um, why not uh, read it? Oh, it's, on its, it's in its entirety on the web, and you'll find the link to it on that site. Um, we almost never ask a judge back a second time, but you know what? Once in a while we meet somebody that we really like a lot that's really an exceptional person, uh, and I want to thank Jeff Stein very much for making the arrangements. And we're talking about um, somebody who's running for judge of the Circuit Court of Cook County. Is that the um, Berlin vacancy? The Berlin vacancy. William Burnett Reigns. How you doing? It's good <laughs> to see you again. I want to thank you uh, for having me. I had such a good time the last time we were here. It's, and I, I checked it on YouTube, and I sent it to everybody that I know, and they sent it to everybody they know. I think we had several hundred hits on that. You have, yes, as a matter of fact. And you know what? The, the machine actually stuttered when it hit 302. That's a, <laughs> a flaw in the YouTube technology. When it hits 302, you got to hit it X number of times, and, and it just freezes there for a while. You, you are the single most watched judge of this particular election season. Thank you. And you probably have a lot more hits than that. Just YouTube gives us a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I should run for state rep or senate or something. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, my passion is obviously to be a judge of the Circuit Court of Cook County. And um, mm. I, um, this has my, been my passion for years. And I, I feel very fortunate to have the opportunity to do this. And I feel confident that I'm going to win it. So... I hear a lot of good things about you, and I hear a lot of good things about the campaign. That's it's, for it's, sure. It's going really well. I've gotten support that I, I didn't think that I would have. Uh, you just interviewed uh, Senator Ricky Hendon, who has really gone out of his way to uh, to help me and to uh, mentor me in a lot of ways, is the the way politics are, and to approach things with a sense of humor and to uh, reach out to the people and, and really talk to them and, and learn the issues and try to understand where they're coming from. And especially from a judicial candidate perspective, you're really not allowed to have an opinion. Yeah. That's why I don't have the scissors, you know. I'm, 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 I'm Marty Levinson, yes, I'm right. Marty Levinson. But I'm willing to do that if, yeah. if that would help. But, uh, you know, in, in going to his meetings and listening to, the, you know, the problems of, uh, you know, the west side of Chicago. And uh, and I'm at 26 in California probably three days a week. And a majority of the the, the defendants that are there are African American. And there, there's, there's issues that need to be resolved. And I went to a minister's meeting yesterday. And... One of the things that I talk about oftentimes at these meetings is the youth. You know, you have kids that have no after-school programs. You have kids that are getting in trouble because they got nothing else to do. You got single-family parents. And I think um, the most important thing is to really focus on the kids. And that's where Ricky Hendon and I are really on the same page because he calls them as babies. And maybe that's probably the appropriate thing to do. But these children need some type of mentoring. They need to know that they don't want to meet me. They don't want to walk in my courtroom and say, this is the guy I don't want to see, and I don't want to see them. I want to be able to uh, be the judge that goes to the community meetings and the outreach programs and to the, uh, you know, the different programs where they're talking about keeping guns off the street, the ceasefire programs. A lot of candidates do that until they get elected. And once they're elected, they're saying, thank you, you know, I appreciate your help, and I'll never see you again. I, I promise the ministers, and I promise everybody that watches your show, I'm not going to be that candidate. I'm not going to be that judge. I'm going to be the person that follows through and goes to the community meetings and really appreciates what's happening out there on the streets, not what's in a courtroom where the doors are locked and you have sheriffs to make sure that everything is done quietly and appropriately. I want to be the person that goes out there and says, you know what, I want to know what the problems are. I want to know what I can do to try to resolve some of these problems from a judge's perspective. I think that's terrific, absolutely terrific. And you've got the background uh, from so many different areas to be able to... Uh, retired to police officer. I got shot as a police officer and received a disability retirement. I went to law school and became an assistant state's attorney at 26th in California. I've not only prosecuted the offenders, uh, now I defend them. And uh, I have a very well-rounded approach to uh, what's going on on the streets and what's happening in the courtrooms. I know I've heard a really lot of a lot of good things from you from a lot of the uh, local Jewish leaders over here, and as a matter of fact, you even represent uh, some of their kids and things like uh, that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to mention any names, but yeah, I, I have I've gotten the phone call at midnight on my cell phone saying, "Can you please uh, help me out?" Um, and, but that's who I am. I'm one of those people. If I can reach out and make a difference in somebody's life, uh, I'm going to do it. 
And I know you've got a lot of strong support in uh, my particular neighborhood, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, and, and not talking about helping their kids, but uh, Bernie Stone is, uh, and I, I mentioned this the last time, the man walks on water. He is probably the most sincere, uh, helpful uh, politician that I've ever met. If you call him, I have a cell phone number. If I call him, come on down, let's talk. Uh, he's reached out to other um, aldermen and committeemen on my behalf to try to get me the support that I need in order to win this election. And uh, when Bernie Stone asks me to jump, I ask how high. Yeah, I happen to like Bernie, and people don't appreciate the fact that, uh, you know what, I never ever have to worry about a knife in the back from Bernie. You'll see the punch to the face coming. He gives it to you fair and square. <laughs> you know, I've, I've run before, and um, you know, he's told me in the past, there's nothing I can do for you. And I yeah. r respect and appreciate someone who's honest, and there's no game playing, and he is not a game player and I appreciate his support. No, I fully agree. Uh, you have a website? I do. It's uh, uh, www.rains, the number four, judge.com. It's uh, rainsforjudge.com. And my punch number is 153. And I like to say, remember me, or vote for me, punch 153, William Burnett Rains. Yeah, you got to have that hook to get something to rhyme. It kind of helps a lot. So www. Rains, the number four, judge.com. Or I have Rains for Judge at AOL also. And punch number 153. Um, anyway, thank you so much for being here, and good luck in the campaign. As usual, you're a gentleman. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank and, you. Uh,